the Four Seasons debacle, and you know, it, it happened a few days ago. Now. I'm sure all the buglers are aware of the the deal, but it didn't entirely bode well for the the, the Trump regime's efforts to discredit one of the most open and scrutinized elections ever held that they couldn't organize a press conference and it not end up outside a gardening center in between a sex shop and a crematorium that suggests that they (laughs) might not have the personnel needed to achieve this this takedown Mm -hmm. of, of of the election it really was like uh a beautiful metaphor, right? Between a sex shop and a crematorium. That's where the Trump presidency exists because either they're trying to f us or they're just burning shit down. <laughs> uh, one person who's not happy at all about the election is actor John Voigt, um, who uh, has described uh, America's current situation as the biggest fight since the Civil War righteousness versus Satan. And let me emphasize this is not him voicing a trailer for a new superhero movie. This is his genuinely (laughs) held belief. But if he's right, then Satan moves in even more mysterious ways than God. I mean, you've got to give them both credit for their distinctive moves, I guess. But, I mean, it's quite a curious way for Satan to go about just destroying America by encouraging the highest election turnout for over a (laughs) 100 years. Um, And... uh, 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 yeah, and you know, essentially a, a, a system just about holding together under ridiculous pressure. Yeah, I feel like if the devil took the shape of Joe Biden, we'd be like, come on, Satan, you've lost your fastball, man. <laughs> <laughs> between a sex shop and a crematorium, that's where the Trump presidency exists.